Uh, so the rest of tonight, warm temperatures around, uh, watching for some patchy fog to try to form into the start of tomorrow morning. But once we get past that, we'll break into some sunshine. It'll be filtered by clouds. Temperatures already in the middle to upper 80s by lunchtime. And then as we go into the afternoon, especially mid to late afternoon, the chance of an isolated shower or a thunderstorm popping up. And that risk of a shower or storm will stay with us through tomorrow evening into tomorrow night ahead of this cold front. It'll take a while for that front to clear the area uh, later tomorrow night. But any of these showers and storms that can pop up in that heat uh, late tomorrow into the evening can produce some heavy rain or some gusty wind with them. That risk of an isolated shower hangs on until early Friday morning. I don't expect a whole lot. Uh, once we get past the morning, that risk will decrease. We'll have some clouds around. Cooler temperatures try to hang on, and by late Friday afternoon, we should start breaking out into some sunshine, and that'll help us out uh, getting into a nice start to our weekend, just cooler. Now, 68 tonight, mostly clear. Apache fog tomorrow, uh, start dry as we get later in the evening. The chance of showers and storms are going to be hot, and it does become humid, especially late toward the evening. Uh, heading into tomorrow night, showers with a chance of thunderstorms wrapping up by first thing Friday morning, and then better weather moving in for the rest of Friday, and Saturday doesn't look too bad. Late Saturday afternoon into the evening, the chance of a shower or storm sneaks in, but a better chance Saturday night into Sunday as that unsettled weather hangs on to wrap up the weekend. And temperatures, well, they start climbing again next week in the mid to upper 80s uh, through Wednesday with that chance of showers and storms by late day returning into the middle of next week.